Okay, Mr. Nasser, yeah. thank you for the interview. Welcome. Yeah, you are uh, the director of uh, Sierra Construction Systems, yes. um, and you have been for quite a while. Um, could you tell us a little bit about how you came into this country and what the startup was? I came there in 1975, March ending. From that time, and I'm still here. Yes. I worked uh, with another construction company. 1983, we set up our own company. We, that's your brother and yourself, right? Me, my brother, um, we are three brothers uh -huh. with one partner. Yeah. Mr. Rad. Yes, and we are still continuing till now. Yeah. Uh, we did a lot of buildings, construction. Uh, if you want, I mention some of them. The first one was Freetown Teacher College. Uh, Ecoa Street is uh, Ecoa Building. Uh, Lagonda. Most recent one, the last four or five years, we did the uh, Kunat Hospital, Ministry of Finance, Special Court, and uh, Bautitsha College also. Okay. Bautitsha College and uh, many yeah. houses, many uh, construction uh, buildings and, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Mr. Nasser, uh, Sierra Construction Systems has um, done a lot of things to uh, make uh, Sierra Leone and Freetown in particular a nicer place for investors. I mean, I know you build certain bu uh, buildings that make it easier for investors to be here. Can you give a few examples of things that you have uh, yes. uh, built in the last years? Or? Yeah. Uh, we have uh, renovated the International Airport, yeah. uh, which can uh, facilitate transportation and, uh, for people and goods and make it easier for international people to come here. And uh, we built the United, the for United Nations yeah. uh, special court. Yes. Yes, and uh, we renovated uh, many other buildings, like hospitals and uh, uh, Minister of Finance and other buildings. Yes, you've done yes. a lot of uh, buildings over all those years, of course. Yes. And uh, like we said, many of them benefit the people. Of course, will benefit the people, of course, benefit the people. Yeah. yeah. Is it, for example, I mean, you started a long time ago, um, and it's in construction it's necessary to find skilled workers. How is that? Is it easy to find the skilled workers? It is very, very easy. Yes. We have, in Sierra Leone, we have a lot of artisans. Uh, laborers, uh, artisans like carpenters, masoners, drivers, plumbers, good one. Yeah. Yes. We yeah. have a lot. Anytime we ask, we can find. Okay. Can you see a difference between when you started and now? Is there a big difference in the skills that people have? Yes. You know, the more uh, experience. Uh, we have more people now. Yeah. Uh, more, more workers. And, uh, yes. How many employees? How many workers? We have about, uh, it varies. Now we have 560. It depends on the work we yeah. have. Sometimes we reach up to 800, 900. Okay. Yeah. You know? yeah. So it depends on the volume of work we have. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And what would you say the mentality of uh, the Sierra Leonean workers is? Very, very good. Very good. He understand the work, he listen, he obey, how to do, to tell, what nice people. Yeah. We have no problem with them. Okay. And uh, there are laws, you know, anybody make uh, something can uh, determinate and can dismiss, it depends on the, but they are nice people, yeah. we never have no problem with them. Okay. Very good. Yeah. What kind of companies would you like to see come and invest here? So, um, a company that makes cement, for example? Cement, we have a okay. factory here. And, uh, but other things like other building material, uh, tiling factory, 
A what factory? Tiles factory. Tiles, okay, yes. yes. Uh, ceramic. Yes. yes. We have terrazzo here, but we don't have ceramic. Okay. Yes. Uh, like sanitary. Sanitary, yes. yes. Sanitary. Yeah, bathrooms, Ele toilets, Electrical, yeah. yes, electrical. Yeah. To manufacture uh, electrical uh, equipment and electrical wiring and whatever for building material. Uh -huh. You know, cables and uh, yeah. what you need. And anyway, like other countries. Yeah. Yeah. So this would use, of course, the prices. Yes. But, but local is always uh, cheaper than the imported one. Yeah. Mr. Nassar, if there's a, a foreign company in plumbing, for example, that has an interest in Sierra Leone, um, but doesn't really know how this market works, would you be we can, interested? We can, yes. We can go partners with this. Yeah. Why not? So that it would be um, mutually beneficial. Uh -huh. Yes, that's what, yeah, of course. Mr. Nassar, uh, you've said that there's a lot of skilled workers here, um, but there's probably some skill that you say would be good if we had foreigners coming here and teaching the people here a certain skill. Is there something that you think of that would be good? Yes, you need the uh, professionals to come here. They will help, of course. Yeah. Professionals in what? Professionals in uh, engineering. Engineers, you would like to see come and and and. and Engineers we have here in Sierra Leone, uh, and we also bring expatriates from okay. overseas. For them to have more experience, more you know, because yeah. construction you need experience also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not only just a graduate, and you need yeah. somebody experience. Yes. Uh, okay. Is there some advice that you would have for international investors that come to Sierra Leone? Yes. And, uh, I think uh, well, something I said it before for many, many times that uh, here I just the government to give a chance to investors to come here and to encourage the investor to come to uh, Sierra Leone and to West Africa are going to Far East. Here, uh, they go there to go the labor is cheap. And here, the labor is cheap not to... And uh, what they have there, it's available here again. Uh, so a lot, a lot of uh, raw materials. And, you know, so, they can do here the same. Would you say that this is uh, the year 2011-2012? That that is a good time to come to Sierra Leone and invest. Yes, yes, and especially now the oil is coming, and it means the country will be more open and more income will come, revenue. So everything will be all right, I think. Okay, well, Mr. Nassar, thank you for the interview. Welcome. Thank you uh, for participating in uh, the European Times, and I wish you all luck uh, with your company so that you can continue the good work that you have been doing for all yeah. these years okay thank you very much I appreciate your coming and uh, your uh, time here and thank you very much okay thank you <laughs>